love food, colored green, bell peppers, and long string beans, pickles, celery, cucumbers too. All these foods are good for you. Welcome to Storytime Cooks, where we learn about food through books. Today we're going to be reading a really fun summer story. Let's go swimming with Mr. Silly Pants, and his pants do look pretty silly. And the, the story and the pictures in this book are by M.K. Brown. Here comes Mr. Silly Pants. He has just signed up for swimming lessons. Have any of you taken swimming lessons? It's a really good idea for everyone to know how to swim, and swimming lessons can be a lot of fun. Good for me, said Mr. Silly Pants. I'm finally going to learn how to swim, and I can't wait. He's a little bit older than a lot of people are when they are doing swimming lessons, but it's okay for adults to do swimming lessons as well. I just hope I don't get water up my nose. What if I go in over my head and sink like a rock? Oh no, he's having some doubts. Sometimes we do have doubts when we have to try something new. We might be a little bit scared. I hope I don't step on a fish. And he's got his fish in his goldfish bowl. What if all the other people in the class are better than me? And that's a possibility, but that's okay. We're all going to those classes that we sign up for to learn, to get better. I think I'll have a sandwich. Let's see. Tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, olives, pickles, tuna, peanut butter, mayonnaise, salami, cheese, pickles, olives, lettuce, and mustard. His sandwich, I don't know how he's going to fit that in his mouth. That is a lot of sandwich, isn't it? What's your favorite sandwich? Do you have one? I like all different kinds of sandwiches. I think Mr. Silly Pants couldn't decide what kind of sandwich he wanted, so he just put it all on one. What if somebody dunks me? I hate being dunked. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. I'm not going to go. I hope I'm not being a sissy about this. And he falls asleep. And he's snoring. What a nice dream. I must be in the desert. The sand feels really hot on my feet, and I'm very thirsty. Can you remember your dreams when you wake up? Sometimes I can, and sometimes I can't. But Mr. Silly Pants' dream is very real to him. Something tells me to go this way. And it might be because there's arrows and even the cactus in the desert are pointing for him to go that way. Let's see where he ends up. My, what a beautiful view. And he's climbing up, 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 up. It reminds me of New Hampshire, and he's fallen down. And there was a sign there that said, danger, road ends, but he didn't see that. I wonder where he's going to fall. He fell into the water, and he says, I can't swim, because remember, he's going to swimming lessons. And there's ducks looking at him like, who is that? He's in the water, and he sees fish, and he sees plants, all kinds of things. And some of the fish are pretty big that he's seen. Do you think he might be a little bit nervous about that? Sometimes when we're in new places, we might be a little scared. And he's thinking, I have got to get out of here. But remember, this is just a dream. It's not real. And in his dream, he's dreaming about sandwiches like he had before he went to bed. Oh, no. Look, sandwiches with dill pickles. I'm hungry. I don't know how he could have been hungry after he ate that great big sandwich. Give me strength. Help. And a 
he's still swimming, and those pickles have turned into giant pickles with mouths. That's even funnier. And then he hears something ringing. What do you think he might be hearing ring? I don't think he would have his cell phone, but it could be. Excuse me, do you folks have a telephone down here? Telephones don't work under the water, do they? But he keeps hearing ring, 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 ring. Wait a minute. It's not my phone. 7.30? It was his alarm clock. And guess what time? It's morning. It's 7.30. It's time for him to get up and go to swimming lessons. Well, as he's looking in the mirror, he says, Mr. Silly Pants, I think everything is going to be all right. And I bet it was. And he went to swimming lessons with all those children, and I bet he's going to learn how to swim. I really enjoy swimming in the summertime. There's something else that was in this story that I enjoy, and that is to eat fish. And one of the easiest kinds of fish for us to eat is tuna fish, because that's something that we can just get in a can and have in our cabinet that's ready to go whenever we need something to eat. Well, today we're going to make a different tuna fish kind of recipe. This one doesn't have mayonnaise in it. And sometimes I think there are people that really are just not very excited about mayonnaise. So we're going to make this one taste a little bit different. This is a Mediterranean tuna fish recipe, and we're going to put in some vegetables. We're going to put in some delicious yellow pepper. We're going to put in some carrots. We're going to put in some olives. And then instead of putting the mayonnaise in to hold it all together, we're going to add some olive oil. And that's going to give it a little bit of a different flavor, and it's going to not be mayonnaise. So we're going to dump in our carrots, and we've chopped those up pretty fine. We've chopped up that yellow pepper. And we've made it pretty fine as well. If you don't like olives, you could also put in pickles. But we're going to have lots of different textures in our tuna salad. It's going to be crunchy. You could put in onions if you wanted. We're going to put in a dash of cayenne pepper. And that's going to make it be a little more exciting than just plain tuna salad. But we are going to put in a little bit of salt, not much. We're going to add some black pepper. And fresh ground salt and pepper are just fun things for kids to do. Just careful not to get too carried away. And we're going to add our olive oil. Now, our recipe actually calls for two cans of tuna. For demonstration purposes, we're just going to make one can of tuna. So we're halving this recipe. So instead of a whole tablespoon of olive oil, we're only going to put in a half. And we're going to stir that up. And this would be a great snack. It would be something that you could have on crackers. It would be something that you could have on bread. It's really good on top of some mixed greens in a salad. So just something different for us to try. Put in the vegetables that you think your family would eat and enjoy having tuna salad for your next meal or treat. I hope you'll come back and join us again for another segment of Storytime Cooks as we continue to learn about food through books.
We love food, colored green, bell peppers, and long string beans. Pickles, celery, cucumbers too. 